when 20-year-old Lance Katingba watched a beautiful mind years ago. The impact it made on his life was bigger than he ever imagined. He enjoyed how it left him asking more questions with its mind-bending plot. But that's what good movies are all about anyway, Lance says. Getting a reaction from the audience. And as an award-winning filmmaker, that's exactly what he does. At a young age, Lance was already a storyteller. He remembers the weekend afternoons at Alabang Town Center, where he'd make stories up in his head while people watching. Lance preoccupied himself with many other activities while growing up, like magic and photography. He loved how photography could capture and communicate so much emotion in a single frame. Magic tricks, on the other hand, were able to elicit awe from his audience. Little did Lance know that these two hobbies would contribute to the way he makes his films. The summer after his senior year in high school, Lance signed up for a digital filmmaking workshop under Jill Ramos and learned the basics of the craft. This was where he discovered that filmmaking was his true passion. As his final project for the workshop, Lance made Fine Dining, a short, heartwarming film about a balut vendor named Efren Elgo. In the story, Efren cooks up a fancy meal to make his daughter happy. The idea, he says, ironically came to him while he himself was eating at a gourmet restaurant. This is the film he is proudest of and what won the People's Choice Award at the prestigious Manhattan International Film Festival. He beat countless entries from all over the world. The extremely hot and tight locations where he and his crew shot in and the stress of having insufficient equipment made winning all the more worth it. Efren passed away shortly after the film's completion. Fine Dining became a fitting tribute to the kind-hearted Baluk vendor, as well as every Filipino who continues to provide for their families. After his second year in UP Didaman, Lance made the most important decision of his young life. With his parents' full support, he would leave UP and accept a film scholarship at the esteemed Harvard College in Cambridge, Massachusetts. So what does the future have in store for Lance? Lance knows that he has a long way to go and that he has to stay focused on all he has to learn about filmmaking. Lance just moved to Boston, but can't wait to come home in time for Christmas. Next year, Lance is looking forward to spending the holidays in their new home in Ayala Southvale, away from the city. Lance believes that Ayala Southvale's peaceful and relaxing environment will help him come up with better and even more memorable stories. On its 25th anniversary, Ayala Land's story continues on. Reaching out, building communities, and celebrating the Filipinos.